This seemed way too easy. Did I miss something, guys? This is... Oh, Eldritch Slayer replaced Kovac Explorer. Well, that's nice. Uh, Gambrai uh, must have touched the uh, giant cysts in a wrong way. And Gry just likes to cut himself now, I guess. This was too easy. At last, the twisted heart of the world is laid bare. For sword or supplication. I'm a little weirded out just about now. Um... Samick says the game hurt you was gonna quit, so made it easy. I was not gonna really quit, but if that worked, okay, sure. <laughs> it's nice. Err. Uh, okay. Now, one problem is, of course, at last, the twisted heart of the world is laid bare for sword or supplication. Well, the problem now is, of course, we have very, very few people who can actually go there. It's a trap before next mission, says Cleo Rosa. That is absolutely possible. Maybe it's a dream and you're still a new in the fo uh, follower. dungeon. Probabak... Pro... Pro... Probak... Oh god, Probakias. Sorry for butchering your name and uh, welcome to the channel. <laughs> Probakias says, uh, Hello guys, new to the channel, enjoying it immensely so far. Thank you, Probakias. Probakius. Yes, he, your name is actually not that difficult. <laughs> but I have to butcher something, right? If it's not my heroes, and if it's not English, it's got to be people's names. So, you know, like Psytex here, Skeloza, uh, Murasi, Koylon. <laughs> also, my name is Birdmoss. And there's uh, uh, Vion there. <laughs> uh, okay, so I didn't actually expect this to go so quickly. I thought that we would spend... Uh, at least he's not butchering junk, says Mercy. I, I can butcher junk, I guess. I, I butchered junk in uh, uh, Subnautica on Tuesday. Turned it into titanium. And <laughs> a fart was says Cyrex. Yes! Farmers, absolutely. <laughs> but I guess welcome to the corrupted channel. Yeah, co corrupted, <laughs> corrupted, co corrupted. Oh gosh. All right, so I didn't expect this to go this this quickly because uh, I mean, if you've seen the map for this dungeon, I figured. I mean, I used one out of the four rest things, right? So it seems like either I totally nailed it, I aced it, or. This was just super lucky. I don't know. Probably both. Um, so that I don't actually know what the ma next mission entails. Now we can have a look. Because I have no problem cheating by looking at things. Because I actually feel like the game cheats as well. Hell is the new... Uh, blah. Never mind. Hell is in the heart. Next mission is short. Is darkest. Is kill one heart of darkness. Well, that's nice. That's got a whole lot of text. Um, it's nothing special by itself. It has mostly bleed, blight, and stress attacks. Let's make it special. It's a skill named Come Unto Your Maker, which instantly kills a hero. Where you get to choose which one. It will only use this skill twice. Once after its health drops below two-thirds. And once after its health, its health falls below one-third. If you have three party members alive. Okay, so it kills two out of the four people. Sac sacrifice a healer first. Afflicted low health character second. Be careful not to mess your formation. The final boss is not intended to be significantly hard. An all around decent party can beat him uh, with a few losses. So two. They recommend a Hellion, a Grave Robber, a Highwayman, a Leper, and a Vestal. 
Well, uh, this is the question now. Shall we actually give this a go? And then if this works, the question is what do we do afterwards? <laughs> uh, more like looper. Uh, Kylon, I concur with Kylon, this is Inception. Where did Kylon mention Inception? Don't see it. Uh, I think Sclerosa basically means this is the Corrupted Channel because we are fighting the forces of darkness. Not really sure. One second, sorry, my phone keeps going off here. Uh, okay. It's just people tweeting and saying things. Okay. Um. Uh, okay, let's first of all, let's get all of our items back in the box. Uh, sold by class restrictions. There we go. Okay, so question. Do we, do we give this, do we give this a try? Do we, do we... Do we go for it? What do you guys think? Should, should I shall I give this a go? End end the game, end the series, and then we do something else. I'm not gonna do NG plus. Just to make this very abundantly clear, I will not do NG plus. <laughs> Absolutely no NG plus. Or oh, Stygian, as it is now called. I mean, we've been doing this. So I have uploaded, what, 160-ish episodes, uh, one a day, three and a half, four months. Sure, we fight in darkness with corrupted minds and butchering language. Yeah. Quit while you're ahead, says Psyrex. Oh, yeah, then also that means we need to have a party where we don't mind killing two people off. Um... All right, let's 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 set ourselves up, uh, and then we can still see. Uh, let's hope by class that might be a good idea. All right, let's set ourselves up, and then we can still see if we want to do this or not. Uh, I'm thinking. Yeah, this is not good. I'm thinking a leper. Hmm. I'm thinking Baynard here for damage. Then I'm thinking a Vestral for healing. We have one left. We will buy her. We will have to buy her armor up a, a little bit. Uh, but we, I think we should bring her along. We may not have enough money, but we can sell a whole bunch of these uh, trinkets that I've been collecting for. Well, a long time, because we hardly ever use most of these, right? So we can sell some of them. Uh, we will probably want to get the uh, the mace up as well, just to get a higher crit chance. But if we're going to basically sacrifice Bigot here, um, then we may as well just maybe leave this untouched. We will want to get the uh, armor up, though. Is there a map for this? One second. There's no map for this, which means it's probably a very simple map and not many fights. All right, and what, who, who is, who's going to be the last one in here? Uh, they recommend, again, they recommend Hellion, Grave Robber, Highwayman, Leper, Vestral. Uh, we could go for a Grave Robber, actually. We have two of them, I think. Yeah. Yeah, let's get, let's get this Grave Robber here. And let's do this. And we're going to sacrifice, well, first the healer, as recommended. Sorry, Bigot, that's your job now. And then we're going to sacrifice the ranged, I'm guessing. And then we have the two heavy hitters here. Uh, they both have self-heals, right? Uh, so the leper cannot heal himself of um, blight things, but the, um, the, the, the hellion can. So this makes this actually a pretty good choice, I think. And yeah, I, th um, I, th I think this is fine. I, 
Uh, let's just set ourselves up with some trinkets. Right. Oh, this is the normal stuff. We'll want you to have... We want you to have, I guess this is not a bad choice. And then we're going to give you, I, I'm not going to give, uh, or oh, let me check. Uh, is the heart of darkness, that's probably Eldritch, right? Oh, it's cosmic. So it's something completely different. Okay. So uh, something like the, this year makes no actual sense. So if there's going to be lots of nasty, if there's going to be lots of nasty debuffs, we may actually take the cleansing crystal here. And actually, we will probably want that on the leper because the Helen can heal herself. Sorry that we'll die under Bartmos's command. I'm not going to sacrifice any of my, my viewers. That's what I have these brave viewers for. They are going to be the lambs that get led to the slaughter here. That's how it's been for months. This is how this must end. Uh, yeah, we're not going to give them uh, anything that increases stress. I could give... Oh, the fortifying garlic. I could give that to someone. Maybe that's a good idea. Um, I'm going to give you... Oh, the greatest... Yeah, of course, that talisman. That's a very good one. This increases stress. I don't want that. Uh, we can give you... We're going to give her something that is relatively cheap, i.e. of what we have a lot. Actually, something like this. Because if she dies and we have all our pockets full, I do want to bring home this. Not that there's a real point to this. Uh, the healer. Um, interestingly enough, I don't really have spares for the healer items. Now, there's always a chance that we need to repeat this mission. So I'm thinking... Uh, a lifestone, maybe? Uh, no, this one. Not the lifestone. Lifestone? Lifestone was something else, wasn't it? Snake oil. That might not be a bad choice. Health stone. That's what I was thinking of. But that's not what we want. Um, <laughs> I have my own plan, says Psyrex. <laughs> Are you drunk, Mercy? You're very strange today. <laughs> uh, what are we going to give her? Um, uh, you could give her this. You know, one good item, one not so good item. I think I like that idea. Yeah, let's give her this, this combination. She's got items. The leper needs something that increases damage, ideally. Or accuracy. Accuracy is also good. Resists are good. Healing received is good. Um... I... No, oh, this is ranged item. Uh, do we have something that does... Oh, this one. Nah, this increases stress. Never mind. Accuracy in position 4. Damage with unholy. Ranged skills. Bleed resist. Where's the... Oh, here. Okay, we're not going to have marked, which is... Okay, we don't have marks. I'm not sure what to give him. Or I could give him this. Just for the extra hit points. What do you guys think? So 
so we got uh, we get her this yeah it's a little worse but we save the book in case the, this party wipes uh, i know we have to give her skills and everything right i, I know that um and we give her the uh, sacred scroll which reduces stress gives us plus healing okay reduces stun skill chance but we never use this and it does reduce her speed which doesn't really matter um for the um grave over here we're gonna give his, the, her this really, really, really good item. We're gonna give her the Feather Crystal for some additional dodge. For the Leper and the Hellion, these are our true survivors. We're gonna give the Leper the uh, the Heart for Bleed Resist and more hit points, because there's gonna be no healing or very little healing at that point. We're gonna give her the, or him the Cleansing Crystal for additional Blight, Bleed and Debuff Resist. And then the Hellion, we're going to give the stress uh, uh, decrease and the accuracy increase. If the torch is above 75, you need to make sure that it is. Uh, but there's no negative effect if it is not, right? And we're going to give her the fortifying garlic again uh, to guard against the debuffs that the game said or the guide said there would be here. Is this a good plan or not? I know a guy says Cyrix that works in a non-disclosed Berlin power distribution plant. All I can say is compo compared to this, Stompy is a quiet guy. Well, Stompy is a whole family, really, of uh, human-shaped elephants. Uh, Mercy says, no, not drunk anymore. It doesn't matter what I do anymore. And a guy without anything to do is, is really dangerous. Well, that does not sound good, Mercy. I hope you're joking. All right, so um, I think I kind of like this party. I hope that this is going to be okay. Let's go for the blacksmith first. Question, do we want to actually... Hmm. Do we actually want to buy her gear up? I guess we could do it like something like this. Not go too high. I mean, we don't want her to die prematurely, but this is another 3k, so we could maybe save that. Um, maybe spend it on skills instead. We do want... What do we want? We want Divine Grace, at least here. We want the party heal, at least here. Uh, we want Judgment, I guess. She's in the last spot. And we want Dazzling Light if she's in the last spot, I guess. She's in the last spot, right? Uh, well, what the hell happened here? That's not how this should be. Stun Smash Parade. Ready? Oops. You're all at five. Oh, and she has no... Ra oh, we are not gonna rest here anyway. Um, let's give it a go. I mean, what could possibly go wrong, right? What could possibly go wrong? Um, we have, we saved a little bit of money in case we need to do this again. Um, shall we just go for it? Any any opinions, guys? I'm gonna spend that moment while you guys have a chance to react by chewing on a little bit of cheese, pouring myself a cold drink of actual Coca-Cola, which I know I should not be drinking. Don't do as I do. Cola is bad for you. Okay, no objections, which means we're going to do this. We're going to buy this, 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 and this. Uh, Xenon says, Batmos, yes. At least drink Pepsi. Oh, okay. <laughs> 
Um, I'm trying to think if I prefer Pepsi to Cola. I guess I do, yeah. Um, what can go wrong? Uh, do you have a few days? What could go wrong? Do you have a few days? Um, I don't know. I guess I do. Okay, we're gonna buy everything except for the shovels and this, uh, just because we can. Uh, actually, oh, uh. Oh, here. Uh, let's buy only one stack of these things. Actually, we will never use them. Let's buy four of these. And I guess four of these. What is this Pepsi you talk about? Asks Murisi. Fanta is more for him. Eh, I'm not really a huge fan of Fanta. Uh, it's okay. Um, for soft drinks, I really don't drink many much many well many and much in the way of soft drink uh, drinks anymore but um when it comes to my soft drinks uh well fanta i like mixing that with cola spezi we call it here i don't know what you would call it in, in other countries but yeah the, the the mix between the two um i like orangina if it comes to orangey soft drinks and i don't know why i, I really don't but for some reason i do Um, iced tea. Oh, I like iced tea. Depends on the type. Yes. I I I'm very hesitant to actually go, but um, I'm gonna take one key just on the off chance that there's any loots. Uh, let's let's embark. Capri Sun isn't bad. I don't normally buy it, but I have fond memories of it from being a child. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Look at this map, guys. <laughs> oh, crap. I should have buy bought... Oh, good. Oh, no, we did select them. Okay, good. I was going to say, good thing that we... Yeah, no. Uh, Slewa says, I love Czechs, uh, Kofola. What is Kofola? I've never heard of this. Fanta is all mine. Although it's called a chancha. Alright. I, I, it doesn't ring a bell. Alright guys, um, we're here. We have to go here, and the route is something that Zoidberg would have taken. You know, like, boop, 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 and then we're gonna go here, go here. Ooh, shiny. Um, it's too quiet in here. I do not know if there's gonna be random encounters here. What is this? A ghostly premonition presents itself. It is really him. It's the ancestor. Listen. In all my terrible researches, what I sought was a glimpse behind the veil, a crumb of cosmic truth. I found it here. And in that moment of brain blasting realization, I ceased to be a man and became a herald, an avatar of the crawling chaos. Okay. Okay, okay. This is a little unnerving, I gotta say. Oh, there he's again. <laughs> Probakia says, My internet connection is so slow, 
I'm convinced we are communicating via courier, courier pigeons. Uh, there is actually a, and I'm pretty sure you know that if you're making this joke, uh, there is actually an internet protocol over Avian Carriers uh, RFC. So you could, in theory, actually set up uh, internet connection over uh, pigeons. Now, um, uh, will the well, it won't be it won't be very um, <clears throat> very efficient. Life feeds on life. In your petty pursuit of family redemption, you consume those who rally to your cause, and in so doing, you strengthen the thing, accelerating the end. This is as it should be. It is why you are here. This is very ominous, I gotta say. Cyrix <laughs> says, at least we are communicating. I uh, try having no connection for three days. And Kylon uh, either looked it up or could actually quote it. It is RFC 2549 says Kylon IP over avian carriers with quality of service. That's probably the one. I don't remember the RFC number. Okay. Uh oh, there he is again. I keep expecting us to have to fight him. We are chained here forever, you and I, at the end of the world. Free yourself. Rouse the thing and embrace the ineffable cosmic hideousness that lives within us all. Uh, Pro Probachius is laughing, but it is an actual thing. Now it is of course not meant to be serious, but it is someone took the time to test it to write it up. Uh oh! I'm just noticing we didn't need torches in here. <laughs> you still foolishly consider yourself an entity separate from the whole. I know uh. better. And I will show you. Oh. Well, that didn't work. Okay, uh, we should spend this time buffing ourselves up not sure how we're gonna do this immune perfect replicate this is some kind of cruel joke okay we can fight these guys okay so that's at least something uh hugh Or maybe not. Flashing daggers, sure. Tiny, are you kidding me? Reunion. Wow. Uh. What the actual hell? Okay. I think I want to slay one of these guys. Well, that didn't do it. Uh, let's do a party over here. And let's do another hue. See what happens. Sporadic reproduction. Oh, come on! Oh, this does not look good. Uh, I I'm not really sure what I'm doing here, guys, but I'm I'm sure it's gonna be good. Uh, it's gonna be fine. Uh, that dude is Vlad Tepes. Who is Vlad Tepes? Okay. Oh, he took one point of damage. That's good, I guess. Can we stun these guys? We could. 
No, they dodge. All right. Hugh. Sporadic reproduction. Ah, so we gotta kill these guys, I'm guessing. The imperfect replications here. We are the same. Oh, she is so going to flip. Why, actually? Did I... Does she... Hmm... Not sure why she's getting all the stress here. I didn't pay enough attention, I guess. Okay, uh... Oh, he dodges again. That's annoying. Good damage, good damage. Good damage. Yeah, so he does take a point of damage. That is good. Uh, let's see. We can't attack him, right? He's immune to pretty much everything. So, um, uh, let's let's. Oops. Let's have a buff herself up. We don't want her hit. Time heals all. And let's play that thing. Okay. And again, I'm pretty sure we can't actually he hit him. Let's do a party heal here. No, can't. Okay. Imperfect reputation. Okay. Now, these all look pretty perfect to me. Let's just smash some face. I want you. Smash him. Thrown dagger. We can't hear you. Let's do that. I'm not sure what provokes the corrupted ones to appear. I'm just gonna start stunning people here. And you kill him. <clears throat> Sporadic reproduction again. Okay, and there's another one to kill. Okay, so this fight is actually not too bad. Unless it ramps up. The craziness here is a little annoying. Oh, and she is bleeding. Not much. But is bleeding. Uh, let's use... Well, we're probably going to have to sacrifice her in a second. But let's use that anyway. Use it all as a... Actually, I should use these use these as well. Uh, heal the party while you still can. You deal with them. There we go. Okay, I keep expecting one of our guys to die. But this is also not the final boss, is it? No, it's not the final boss. The final boss is like the big cosmic terror thing. <clears throat> okay, uh, whoops. Heal the party. Three points? Oh, yeah, of course. Because we didn't set her up properly. Properly. There we go. Imperfect reproduction. There we go. 
Ah, two of them. Good. That should kill him. Stop doing that. Okay. More party healing. Yeah, but only on her. Uh, Probacius. Stress here. And it's okay. I mean, if one of our guys flips, we're gonna have to sacrifice someone anyway. So, you know. Uh, let's do the... Let's see. Oh. Two of them again. We only need to kill one more, I guess, for him to die. Oh, that was fairly unnecessary. Oh, he didn't die just yet. Oh. That's not so good. There we go. That should take care of him. The flesh is fluid. It can be changed, reshaped, remade. Wait, what? That's not good. Holy crap! Okay, this just got more interesting. <laughs> <clears throat> um, what do these things do? Absolute nothingness. 999 points. I'm assuming we're not supposed to actually kill those guys. Touch 999. Oh, yeah. Okay, we are definitely not going to damage those guys. Uh, uh, let's uh, kill the ancestor thing here. Should I buff myself up a little? Let's buff her up. And make the all. That is slightly not good. Wow. Ouch. Uh, yep. Give me a heal. You go smash. Uh, you go smash as well. Good damage there. Alright, we, we're getting somewhere. You go smash. It's okay. Yeah, she's gonna flip this round. Oh, bleeds. Bleeds not good. Ah, she just about saved herself. Uh, I wanna... I don't want to do this, I guess. Good damage. This is why I like lepers. <clears throat> uh, yeah, heal yourself. This looks really painful, by the way. Oh, we can't really reach him here. That is slightly annoying. Vigorous! Powerful! Very nice. I was hoping for it, but didn't dare uh, think that we might actually get it. Uh, let's see. We can attack him here. Very nice. Can't bleed him, but at least that works. Uh, you do a self-heal since you can't reach him. You are, you are a damaged little person. Yeah, do a party heal. Good, good, good. Getting there. Ow! Well, this is slightly annoying. Okay, we gotta exchange these two guys here, I think. Yeah, we can't reach him there. So, I think we're gonna do this. Stop bleeding on yourself! Heal the party. Oh, it's better than nothing. You can't reach the guy there, so you are going to heal yourself again. You can reach him. So you are. And Iron Swan coming in. Oh. That was a nasty whatever. That didn't kill him. Okay, that's annoying. 
Can you restock after the battle? No, probably not. I'm assuming there's gonna be another battle after this. Uh, what are we gonna do here? Okay, yeah, we cannot attack them. I was hoping that maybe that'll work. Okay, this should kill him, hopefully. Oh, nice hit. Very nice hit. And he's still alive on zero hit points. So what the hell are we gonna do here now? Uh, we can't kill these things, can we? Oh, there we go. The flesh is immortal. Oh. It is undying. Pray it does not take too hideous a form. That is actually pretty damn hideous. Uh, okay, we're gonna we're gonna self buff here. Uh, we are going to do a party heal here, and we're gonna start. Yeah, we're gonna start smash. Oh, really? Of course. Why wouldn't that happen? <laughs> uh, um. Yeah, just okay. First blood goes to the grave robber. Ooh, that healed herself. I did not realize that healed herself. Uh, wait, what? I okay. I didn't understand why that happens. Iron Swan, crit six, hundred five accuracy, crit seven. Um, I don't care about the bleed. Let's do damage. 24 points. Pretty good. Why does this heal him then? Oh, they have... Is that a special for this fight? That they heal themselves? Oh, that is nice. Let's go do damage then. This is gonna kill our first guy, right? Yeah, okay, so we do heal uh, ourselves a little bit. Oi! Okay, now one of our guys is gonna die, right? Not yet? Dispersion. Is this still not the final? Oh, this is the gestating heart. So there must be another battle after this. Oh, this is slightly annoying. Okay. Yeah, so there must be another battle after this. Which makes sense, I guess. Oh, well, that was probably not so smart. Just damage. That's not very good damage. Okay. Do I want to use? Nah. Gonna eat the damage. Behold the heart of the world, progenitor of life, father and mother, alpha and omega, our creator and our destroyer. Okay, that was awesome. <laughs> I gotta say, I'm pretty sure that, that, I mean, Darkest Dungeon is a great game. Don't get me wrong. Even if it frustrates me at some times, it has been a really, really, really fun game so far. And I, I just want to say that I think that, that at least like a significant amount of, of success this game has is from the awesome voice actor. All right. Now we're going to just go and smash here, I think. Hmm. Damage seven four. Eh. Hey, you know what? Whatever. Go kill this thing. Puncture. Ow. That hurt. Come on to your maker. Okay, so we gotta kill someone first, and we gotta kill. Oh no! It's too horrible. No. A proper lady does not volunteer herself for slaughter. Spare the others. I am ready. Oh, the leper. See, leper is good. Send me to hell then. I Laura. Well, we're we gonna kill our healer. Sorry, healer. Gonna go by the strategy guide. 
Also, we do need the damage output, so. God complex. Yeah, this is. Ay! Oh, no, 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 no. This is not good. This is not good. Um. Okay, we can heal ourselves a little bit. <laughs> We're still gonna die. Shit. Um. <laughs> But from my, what I remember reading earlier, um, if she does die... <coughs> oh. Well, goodbye, Grave Robber. I was gonna say, um, the monster only does that if there's still three people alive, so... <coughs> but yeah, I think we got this, guys. This is really not that difficult. But on the other hand, I think I I like that because the game has been super tough, and I think it's all right that the last boss is well a little bit of a pushover. I mean, it still kills two of our guys, right? So it's not it's not. Ooh, that was actually pretty painful. Oh, and we got stunned. Screw you. Um, there we go. Victory. A hollow and ridiculous notion. We are born of this thing, made from it, and we will be returned to it in time. The great family of man. A profusion of errant flesh, multiplying, swarming, living, dying. Until the stars align in their inexorable formation, and what sleeps is roused once more. To hatch from this fragile shell of earth and rock, and bring our inescapable end. So seek solace in a manner befitting your lineage, and take up your mutatory vigil. Haunted forever by that sickening prose echoing through the infinite blackness of space and time. Ruin has come to our family. Oh, that's nice. So basically... So basically, if I understand this ending correct, we are the ancestor, right? Cool. One hundred sixty-seven weeks, which is surely some sort of negative record. <laughs> it took us a long while, but we got it. We beat the darkest dungeon. I'm gonna be honest, guys. There were moments in this very long campaign where I did not believe this. There is uh, going to be... Uh, so Probakias, Probakias says a Darkest Dungeon 2 teaser. Oh, There is going to be a DLC that comes out soon, whenever that is, uh, which is the Crimson Court, and it is vampire-themed. <laughs> Kylon says, yay, and Cyrex says, how disappointing, I was expecting more death. Otherwise, good job, Bartmos, and game. Well, thank you, Cyrex. I think we had plenty of death in uh, in this run. Lots of people died. Uh, none of it my fault. <laughs> but yeah, I'm 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 happy with this. I really am. I did not think I would beat the game. Um, really did. Really didn't. Yeah. So Crimson Court. Um, I already put in for a key. Um, uh, I don't know if they are gonna give me one. If not, then I'll just buy the game. But you can depend on it. As soon as the Crimson Court gets released, I will absolutely play that. Thank you, Slurosa, and thank you, Xeon. GG, and good job, they say. And thank you, Probak. Yes, nice, yep. Yeah, so yeah, Crimson Court, absolutely gonna play that. I am loving this game. 
Uh, I may do some private games. I, I don't think I will play this on stream again. Uh, other maybe yes, you know, like uh, the Crimson Court, of course. But other than that, I will I will probably not do it on stream unless maybe there's like a slow Tuesday sometime and. You know, we're just gonna do some derping around in, in radiant mode or something. But I think we're done with the game, except for Crimson Court, of course. And we're gonna move on to bigger and better things at some point. Uh, good night, Sion. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, sorry, says the Varkin will never believe this. Well, I did tell, uh, I did send the Varkin a message that I would tackle the darkest dungeon tonight. Uh, I think he's busy with uh, studies. There's gonna be the uh, the archive. Um, it will be on YouTube, so he can always check that. Yeah, but you're right, Cyrex. It kind of doesn't feel right that we beat the game and Zavarkin wasn't here. I mean, he's been around for the whole bloody thing. He's been very helpful with his advice, and uh, yeah. Mm. Drogi, good evening. <laughs> Drogi says, I have a savior and its name is Arby's. I thought that the name of your savior would be Deadpool, Drogi. And Arby's would just be, you know, like a. You know. Like a. Like a. Like, like a saint. So, mm, question What do we do with the rest of the night? <laughs> Because this ended like two hours early. <laughs> Darkest stage in Radiant. Oh, okay, I see. So this is also the uh, the little thing here on the side. So right, Radiant is the new thing that they released today. Uh, Radiant campaigns, while still challenging, are adjusted to be fast and more forgiving than normal, suggested for your first Darkest Dungeon experience. Uh, normal campaign are the original setting for the game. While there is no time limit to win, the campaign will be longer and more challenging in Radiant mode. Yeah, I kind of saw that. Stygian uh, campaign are not for the faint of heart. Expect no quarter, no forgiveness. You must conquer the evil within a time and hero death limit. Also, many gameplay settings are locked. Okay, so we're not going to do that. And I cannot cancel this. <laughs> I have to start a new campaign. All right, I'm going to do... Oh, okay. We can't cancel that. Okay. Never mind. Uh, let's do a poll. Sunday is the one-year anniversary of the Deadpool release, says Drugi. Oh. Subnautica. Uh, no, not Subnautica, Kylan. Uh, I think what I'm going to do with Subnautica is do a series on YouTube. Um instead I took a trip to the upper plane of the galaxy it says to get about 2k light years straight up okay that's nice it's probably a good view from up there uh, let me check what the choices are what we could do where is my steam? Steam, come here, steam, 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 steam. Where are you, steam? Okay, steam. What have I installed? I have installed. I could install something new, of course. I got Hearts of Iron installed. Flame in the Flood. Nah, I'm probably not gonna play that. Uh, Fallout Four? No, no, no. Europa and the Solace, Elite Dangerous, uh, Skyrim. I don't have the save anymore, and I changed my mods around a lot, so... Well, I do have the save, but I have changed the mods. I probably have the save. I think I have the save. I got City Skylines installed. I got... What else have I installed? RimWorld? RimWorld! We should do RimWorld, maybe. Uh, Stellaris, Subnautica... That's all I've installed. I have lots of F games, though, so... Um... Uh, Drugi, that kind of looks like you're you're flying through a mist, actually. Doesn't really look much like the galaxy. <laughs> uh. Yeah, we got a we got a RimWorld game going. Uh, so maybe we should continue with that. Maybe. So some votes for RimWorld. 
All right, let's let's do the RimWorld thing then. Um, can we can we sec here? Boop. There we go. Uh, first things first, I do have to change uh, the settings. Rim world. Oops. Uh, lemon squeezers continue it. And I probably should restart the stream for that. 